Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get Polaris Office and a photo editor on your Galaxy Note 2. So um, these are really good apps to have and they don't come from the Play Store, which is where you're going to get most of your apps. They actually come from Samsung apps. So first thing you're going to do is when you sign in is make a Samsung account. Once you have this, then you will have access to the Samsung Store, which is a little different from the Google Play Store. Uh, Google Play Store obviously will have a lot more apps, but these are just some nice uh, free apps that you can get. So uh, once you are signed in, you are going to click on the bottom right here under Top Apps. And um, usually always at the top, you will see, of course, Polaris Office, which uh, this is an office that will allow you to edit and create any uh, office documents from Word, PowerPoint, or Excel. And we're just going to click Get. And when you click Get, it usually asks you to put in your password for your um, Samsung account. And that's just what I'm going to do right now. And then it's just going to ask you if you want to download it. You're going to say accept. And then it'll start downloading. And while that's going, we're just going to click photo editor. That's another really good app from Samsung. This allows, it's a really good photo editor. It's very highly rated. And those are going to be the top two I recommend for everyone getting. There are more that are here for you guys to uh, look at. Um, the only other one I kind of like is Application Monitor, I believe. Let me double check to make sure. Yeah, Application Monitor. It's just a easy, ta it uses the built-in task killer to uh, close apps. So this is a pretty good one. So let's get this one too. And that's all the stuff we really need from here. So after that, uh, I'm just going to close it. This would be the Galaxy S3's uh, task killer shortcut. And uh, this one, of course, is a note, which I don't believe they have a specific one for the note, but those are the main ones. Now, before you install, um, you install these apps, sometimes what you need to do is um, click unknown sources. So I'm going to go over that. Uh, as soon as I'm done showing you this. So this is the office that you now have on here. As you can see, you can look at Word, Excel, and PowerPoint on here. You can also store uh, things on the cloud. So if you type off this document, you can store them on the cloud or from there. As well as clicking right here will allow you to use these different uh, types of templates. So when you create a document, you can create a regular uh, DOC, which is the older uh, 2003 Office and before, and DOCX is the 2007 Office and newer. So uh, if I wanted to click on this document, it's actually going to give me all these nice templates that I can use uh, for it, whether letter, manual, office document, resume, and report. And you'll see these uh, same things translate to over to different things, such as sheet. Um, you have a report here, invoice, all these kind of fun things that you can use it for. And then lastly, we have uh, different templates for PowerPoint presentations. So really nice in how they do it. Um, now, if for some reason you got something like um, cannot install, the main reason is if you go to settings, And we're going to go to the very bottom and then move up slightly and go to security, which is actually a little bit more towards the top now, as I remember. So under security, I click right here and we're going to go to unknown sources and check that off. Now, Samsung isn't considered an unknown source usually, but if for some reason your carrier changes, this is where you would click to mark it as unknown source. Um, to be accepting different apps 
outside of the Play Store. Alright guys, so that is how you install Office on the Note 2. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.